I'm just going to do a quick video to show you how to measure children's feet from home. So I bought this Start Right Foot Measurer from Amazon. Um, I can't remember how much it was, but I'll link it below. There's one for infants or there's one for adults. And I used to fit children's foot footwear for a long, long time. So I do know what I'm doing, trust me. So in lockdown, obviously we can't go to shoe shops. So I am pretty certain Grayson's feet have grown. <gasps> what size are your feet now? Can you guess? Four. Are they a four? They are just under a seven and you are an F on that foot. Yeah. Okay, so you don't want to pull this too tight, otherwise that's going to come out as an E, which would then be too narrow. So it just needs to be comfortably loose and the foot needs to be hanging down. And you also need to do it while they're wearing socks, because obviously they're going to wear socks when they wear their shoes. So make sure their heel is pushed right to the back and that their toes aren't curled up. And then that one is also just under a seven, which is a 24. And then that one is also an F. <gasps> High five, Grayson! Yay! And then when the shoes arrive, after we order them, I'll show you how to check if they fit or not. Mommy, my Guys, Lawson's feet are. Thank you. Got a little helper. Thank you. Me. Lawson is a six and a half and he's a little bit wider. His feet are a bit wider than yours, so they're probably more like a G. Let's put this one in. Hang on, Grayson, what are we doing? You can see Lawson scrunched his toe up there, so we've got to flatten his toe out. And then put it up here. So that foot's a little bit smaller, but it's still a G. So I'm just going to check if they fit. One little tip, if you're not sure if shoes are too small, you can always pop some talcum powder in the front, put their foot in, and then have a little look and see where the toe is. So that's just a little tip for you. Right, guys, then you ready? Are you going to try on all these boots? Okay. So these are brilliant because they've got a zip and they've got laces, and they were such a good price as well. So the key thing, let's put the other one on is to make sure that there's enough length that they last and that they grip the heel and that they're okay width-wise. So, in a minute, Mommy's going to ask Grayson to stand up and we'll see if they fit you. So let's just check the back. So give the back a little bit of a tug. Make sure it's not too snug. Make sure there's a little bit of space but that it doesn't move, otherwise that's going to cause blisters. And then if you stand up, okay, let's have a look. So, you have to make sure they're standing fully up, all their body weight. <laughs> That's it, lean forward. And then to check the width, you literally just go across like that with your thumbs. And if there's a nice little wave, they're not too tight. And if you can't feel their little toe on the side here, then they're perfect. There should be about a centimetre at the front, which is about the width of your thumb. Right, Grayson, let's see where your toes are. Can you wiggle your toes for mummy? Toe. So as you can see there, that is the absolute perfect, perfect length. That's the end of Grayson's toe there. If you're not sure, if you can get them to stick their toe up, can you wiggle your toe? They can always feel it that way, but they're pretty perfect. So what we used to always do when mummy worked in the shop, was send you now for a little walk to make sure they feel okay. Do you want to go for a little walk? No. Oh, wow, Grayson. Mom. Should we try Lawson's on? Ready? to like and subscribe and leave a positive comment down below and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye!